Hi guys! Welcome! How is everybody? Hi, so sorry. I uh, ran off to go to the bathroom and I nearly tripped over and killed myself just then. But anyway, <laughs> hi everyone. How are we all? <coughs> Big happy birthday to Faith. Happy birthday, Faith. She's 18 today. So, um, yes, birthdays. Awesome. All right, let's have a look. Hello to Abby, Heather, Helen, Dawn, Crystal, hello. Um, Christy, Joe Beth, hello, welcome. Uh, Alicia, yes, thank you. <laughs> Hi, Zeely. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. We've had a big weekend. Lots of partying. <laughs> so, um, I've got a couple of flip throughs for you today. My camera's really close. I don't know why. Um, it's all right. We're going to be coloring in soon. So, <laughs> hi, Loretta. Oh, we're coloring a dragon today. That should make you feel a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Dusty, welcome. Hi guys, come in. Sorry, I'm just checking everything and I'm ready to go. Um, I'm going to be colouring this one today with markers. <coughs> I'm having a hard time. My asthma's been playing up. Um, it doesn't help with the wind and the dust and all of that stuff. So excuse me if I sound out of breath because I probably am out of breath. I probably am. Is that proper English? I probably, I'm probably out of breath. I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we're going to do a couple of flip throughs. First of all, we've got Nathaniel Wake's new Dragon Life coloring book. And I do have affiliate links in the description below please check it out um and also too i'm going to be doing a flip through of christine karen's new fairy book and also i've got grazia selvo's new 2020 printable calendar which i'm going to do a flip through of today so lots of little flip throughs and um nathaniel's given me permission to give away a copy of this uh dragon life 3 book so we'll do a giveaway halfway through Fun, fun, fun. Hi, Pam. Hi. Hi, Kathy. Welcome, guys. Come in. Oh, you are, Loretta. Oh, I've got something exciting coming from Jennifer Zimmerman on Friday. Uh, she has something new coming out. So we're going to do um, um, that image and um, there'll be some nice discounts. So very exciting. Lots of fun. Hello, Shadow. Hi. Are you going to annoy me all day? So if you guys that were here on Friday, I got a package uh, from a online shop. And uh, I'd ordered some embossing um, inks and pens and also some embossing powder. But the embossing powder wasn't in the package. I did email her and she gave me a big, great big apology. And uh, she's sending it off to me this morning, so I will get that. So it was just forgotten. She just got back from holidays and uh, fulfilled the order and it was sitting aside and she forgot to add it in. So it is coming, <laughs> thankfully, thankfully. So um, yeah, loads of fun. Hi Star, welcome. Um, so yeah. How cool is this dude? Let's have a look at the book, shall we? Uh, there is some music, so sit back and uh, enjoy. I have three different flip throughs. We'll do the uh, Dragon's Life 3 first, and um, then we will do um, 
then who do the others? Hi, Rain. Welcome. So let's have a look at it. I'm back. Um, <clears throat> Laurie, hi, welcome. And uh, my printer takes up to, I've tried up to 300 GSM, so, um, and it works fine. So it takes like Strathmore, um, mixed media, Tantone paper, 
it takes a, a lot of the Strathmore papers I've got a few different types of watercolor papers and it takes all of those so um, I have no problems hello to Linda welcome hi Graceland welcome guys welcome welcome um Abby you were here before weren't you did I miss you before I hope I didn't okay snow hey well there's no snow here it's hot <laughs> so that was Dragon Life 3 by Nathaniel Wake and we're going to color this image out of it today I'm going to use some colors that I've actually used before in another image so we'll see how we go with this one um hi Debbie welcome and uh, we've got another book so before we do start coloring I'm going to do the other flip throughs as well uh, the next one is by Grazia Selvo uh, she's done a printable 2020 calendar so I wanted to do a flip through of that one so let's pop in and check that one out as well So how beautiful was that? It's absolutely stunning. I really um, liked it and I've obviously I've purchased it <laughs> to show you guys. Uh, it is available on Etsy and it's a digital download. The next book I'm going to show you is the awesome, awesome new fairies coloring book by Christine Karen. Um, and I've got all of these emails coming through right now. It is a beautiful book and what she's done is she's compiled a whole heap of images that she's done over the last few months and put them into fairies number three and um, she's made it a grayscale coloring book and she's got a line art and uh, it will be available on Amazon shortly at the moment it's available for digital download um, so I've popped the link up here in the chat for you hi Miranda welcome and um, hi Sarah welcome come come in come in uh, so if you want to check out the PDF version, it is available now on Etsy. This is a grayscale version that I'm about to show you by Shadow. <laughs> and um, it's absolutely beautiful. So let's pop in and have a look at this one.
So guys, what do you think? Beautiful book uh, by Christine. Hi, May. Hi, Laura. Welcome, guys. Come in. I'm good, Miranda. Thank you. Um, here is the link again for Christine's beautiful book. Um, a lot of the images are from, I know that there was a few that were given on Patreon and um, obviously the steampunk one was there, the Halloween one. Uh, so it's really cool. I've actually colored a few out of there as well. The Poppy Fairy and uh, what else was in there? The, the Halloween one I did and I started the steampunk one but haven't finished it yet. It'll get there eventually eventually <laughs> it will get there eventually <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna do some coloring I've got uh, a whole heap of Copics today and uh, I'm just going to start on this little fella call him a little fella <laughs> I will I will I will So I've gone for a, a uh, um, I don't know what he is. I think he's like a tree dragon or something, but he's got some crystals on him. Um, and a few other things here. Oh, we, uh, Alicia and I finished, uh, we've done a color list for the one that we did on Friday. Uh, I'll try and post that up. Uh, today on Patreon because we did we sort of were busy for the weekend, so we didn't get a lot done So uh, I did do a color list for that one and I finished it um, Let me see do you want to see it? Let me see if I can find it. I forgot I haven't um, I completely forgot to post it because of everything that was going on um, Hmm I don't know if I've got it yet. So I'll um I'll have a look. Um let me see. I uh I spent a little bit of time starting to sort out some videos, uh changing some thumbnails, uh also taking some videos off um, like unmonetizing them uh, doing a few things there because I'm trying to get organized to <laughs> trying to be organized there um, for when the changes take place sorry guys I'm trying to find the image I did on Friday um, <laughs> I haven't uh, watermarked him yet, but that's okay. We'll uh, we'll just uh, move my logo in the middle here and just enlarge him a bit, <laughs> and then I'll stick him up. <clears throat> Wow, he's quite big, isn't he? <laughs> Here we go. Let's just shrink him down a little bit. I ended up using some pan and pastels to cover up that little spot down in the bottom corner. Um, it didn't go as well as I expected it to. The uh, watercolor went over the top of the Copic sand in this bottom left corner and it just sort of made it look kind of strange and... Um, yeah, but I actually quite like the way it came out in the end. It kind of looks like a smoky effect uh, over him and uh, just stuck white pan pastel over the top there just to make it all look a little bit dusty and smoky sort of looking. And um, yeah, he came out quite cool. A little bit John Lennon-ish like we were talking about with Lisa. <laughs> but um, yeah, he came out pretty cool. So uh, I will pop the color list for that one up later on as well. So I'll do that. I'm trying to move my logo here and uh, it won't let me move it back. It's having a wonderful day. Hello there. Okay, so if you were just talking to me, I missed everything you just said. <laughs> well, 
people messaging me about things. Hi Shelly, welcome. Hi Elaine, welcome guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi Rochelle. My lovely peoples, welcome. No worries, Abby. I'm going to do a bit of a mixture of colours today on him. I'm pretty sure he's going to come out nice looking. I don't know. You know, sometimes I go into it and I... Look, this, to be honest, five minutes before the stream I was still working out what I was going to do with him. Because, you know... And then I, I remembered an image that I did a while ago and I really liked how the colours came out. So I've decided to repeat the same colours on this dragon. So I guess we um, we hope for the best, right? Because <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> we hope for the best. Um, Alright. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do these. So there's been so many mixed uh, feelings about the new YouTube thing. Some people are saying, oh no, it's all good, you just have to do this. Some people are saying, oh no, it's all bad, you could end up doing this. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's been a bit on the frustrating side of things. People are a little bit worried that I'll be disappearing, but I'm not. It's all very vague. Very, very vague at the moment. So yes. We had a busy weekend. We had heaps of family here yesterday. Loads of fun. Uh, some I haven't seen in a very long time. Some I wanted to come and didn't end up turning up, but that happens. Not much we can do with family like that. <laughs> Just enjoy the time when we do get it. It's my theory. I'm making these little bits like crystals. of sorts I quite like doing stuff like this uh, rather than people all the time I'm, I like dragons they're one of my things that I have always liked my year 12 final assignment I made a dragon out of pottery clay terracotta terracotta clay to be exact and um, I also made a vase with a painted dragon on it so just something that I've always liked Oh, you do, Helen? Yeah, she, um, Christine likes to put her single images into books, which is really good because if there are some that you've seen throughout the, you know, few months that she's done new ones and you haven't been able to get them, it's good that they're all in a book because then you can go and purchase them in the book, which is fantastic. Do, 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 do. So what's big news around the world people I've been pretty flat out this weekend and not watched any news so um, I think they're like crystals hanging from his arm there 
just trying to figure it out in my brain <laughs> what is where <clears throat> Wait, it's not on top chat, but my little blue arrow is not moving. Oh, there we are. I see you all. <laughs> Righty ho. Looks like my ex husband. <laughs> well, that's good. Oh, you went, Linda. <laughs> Good job. Um, Good job. Good steward, eh? It's always good. I've never been to a concert before. Unless you class high five and the wiggles in concert. <laughs> the holy doolies. Other words, kids crap. Hmm. <laughs> <coughs> I would say so, uh, Sarah. Usually there is stuff like that on sale. Um, I know that I'll be streaming on Friday my time, uh, which will be Thursday your time. I know that there's going to be a sale. Jennifer Zimmerman. For my stream. maybe even a special discount for patrons so patron only discount that sounds pretty cool there's already uh, discounts that have been going up this week in the lek well, Nell did one on Friday for 48 hours or whatever it was, so she had one. Um, Grazia's book was on sale too when I brought it, so I don't know if that's still on sale. You guys want me to zoom in I can we had uh, all of our guests here on the weekend and Nani it was her first time with a family sort of gathering like that we had kids and all sorts of things here so we weren't really sure how she was gonna go but uh, she ended up doing really well I was really impressed with her she stayed uh, tied to Cameron most of the day and when the lilies left we we let her off and uh, yeah it was a little bit overwhelming I think to start with but um, she really enjoyed it Thanksgiving oh okay well it won't be Thanksgiving here um, so I will still be streaming and we're gonna have that special so but I understand it being Thanksgiving there, it might be quiet on Friday then, I'm going to assume. Just 
Just going to smudge all that colour in now. So I want to put of colour here. Uh, make go with a little bit of this red just on these darker sections of the wings. Give them a little bit of depth. I was going to do under here a lighter green, but I think we'll go in a little bit darker here and keep this bottom section here green. You'll see, you'll see, <laughs> it'll work out. It does. Ribs to it. Uh, Michael Jackson would be cool to see. Would have been cool to see, should be the words that I use there. Of course. My son used to love Michael Jackson. He was one of those kids that you turn on Michael Jackson and he's like freaked. Remembering dancing to bad. <laughs> Loved it. Thriller. He used to love Smooth Criminal too, the film clip for that one. Kind of weird, isn't it? But they up on I don't want to cover all of that red too much with the purple but I do want to add some in that area as well just a wee bit oh squeaky arms on the thing there my daughter and I played around I've got a I used to do acrylic nails um, as a nail technician and I've still got all my gel stuff so we uh, got out some gel polish and uh, put some gel polish on. I'm so glad I did though because uh, a couple of my nails were actually broken and I was sort of nursing them to health. <laughs> I say nursing them to health as in I was growing them enough to, uh, to be able to trim them without uh, having them right down on the skin. They were that bad. They were bad.
Lisa, which Lisa, um, Catherine, and hello. Welcome. Which Lisa? Just going to add in some green. In here. Lisa Matrokin. Not too much down in there. I want to try to keep that as yellow as possible. But we want to be able to see some dragon abs, of course. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I think um, some people have taken it a little bit more. Um... So, look, I, I listened, I've done a bit of research on it and I've, you know, listened to a couple of lawyer YouTubers. Um, one guy who's got a family, you know, family uh, intended channel is a bit. You know, he, he was a lawyer and he's gonna sort of gone and talk to some of the congressmen and all that sort of stuff so I kind of been watching him a little bit and uh, I watched another guy who uh, actually went through the legality of it and the legal sort of terms and things like that and uh, you know he just said that look basically anyone can sue anyone and um yeah, that COPA or COPA or whatever could sue anybody for, um, you know, breaching the laws or whatever. However, he did say that uh, he did think that it would be extremely difficult for the case to go through and for them to actually win a case, especially against a creator, um, because... If you read through the documentation, um, it says that an owner, it doesn't actually say a creator, it says an owner, um, and it talks about collection of data, and uh, basically we're not, we don't have that, we don't get any of the data, like YouTube don't collect data off people about the ads and things like that, and send it to us, we don't get any of that, so... Uh, when it comes to being liable for that, if we're not actually receiving that data, then we can't be liable for it. Which means we can't be breaching because it's not us who owns the uh, owns YouTube, is it? Also, I was looking at the wording in the COPA, COPA. Um, you know their laws and things and uh, there's just lots of things in it that are really vague and um, not likely not likely to get us in trouble um, but because there's so many videos out there saying the opposite, people have sort of gone a bit mad and and the wording um, and things like that, I think they're going to update it and change it slightly. Um, 
and the guy was saying too that just because it's said at a press conference doesn't mean it's the truth either. Um, but yeah, you know, it's quite interesting. He even looked into the guy I was watching was even looking into like, you know, the law case that was against um, YouTuber that had to pay the fine, the seventy hundred and seventy seven million dollars or whatever it was, and uh, the guidelines to that. Are quite interesting as well. It's all very interesting and uh, I think YouTube are trying to, I don't know, <laughs> trying to pass the buck a little bit. But um, I can link the video that I watched uh, with this guy and what he talks about. I mean, there's a lot of uh, legal jargon and stuff in it, but it's actually quite interesting. And it'll make you, it'll sort of give you a better understanding of it too, I think. Oh, he's looking a bit messy. He's looking a bit ugly duckling right now, isn't he? So good. So good. <laughs> so good. Yeah, so YouTube, the law's been there forever, <laughs> for ages, like, it hasn't changed, but YouTube was forced to, as a part of their settlement, they were forced to change some of their, the way they do things. So, a lot of the stuff that's been happening, the YouTube stuff, is actually YouTube and not, not, um, COPA or the FTC or whatever. Um, it's just coming to light now because of the settlement that happened just recently and because YouTube have to as part of that settlement they had to change some of their rules and that was that they needed to I'm running out of this color and lucky I have a refill for it um, basically YouTube had to make it so that people could specify whether their videos were made for children or not and um, that was part of that and they've People have come in and taken it all out of proportion and, you know, YouTubers have got on and put their two bobs in and it's just the story just taken off from there, I guess. <clears throat> but let me find the link because it's quite interesting and if you want to have a watch of it later on, why not? me. I've got the hiccups or something. Um, let me find it. It's called Rattling the Copa Saber. Um, let me just grab it. That's the one that I watched and he talks about the legality of it all and um, the wording in the documents and all of the... I don't know, it just made sense to me. After watching all of these YouTubers just go on about it all, I was like, oh, this is ridiculous. I need to know more. Um, so I listened to this guy. And the video is about half an hour long, or 40 minutes long. Uh, but he actually talks about the documentation and the legal side of it and what uh, YouTube were, were ordered to do and uh, all of that kind of thing. And he talks about the likelihood of being sued and the likelihood of being liable 
and things like that. So if you get a chance, pop over and watch it if you're really, really worried about it. Also too, if you're not monetized, it doesn't have anything to do with you uh, because uh, you don't have ads played on your videos. So if you're not monetized, then you probably shouldn't be worried about it at this stage. The lawsuit was about um, YouTube collecting data from children. Uh, when YouTube play personalized ads, uh, they collect data from videos that are being watched and they play personalized ads to sort of go along with that video. So if you're watching a video about Lego, then they're likely to play you an ad that's got Lego in it. Does that make sense? So uh, what uh, Copa were sued them for was because that they know that children are watching these videos and that they're taking this personal data from those children uh, and playing personalized ads. So that's basically the extent of the lawsuit. So in in um, you know in the process of that lawsuit. Um, Copa gave them a list of things that they needed to do um, to comply and uh, suit them basically find them running out again <laughs> so the the basically YouTube would charge for take find, for taking personal data from children uh, and personalizing ads to them Sorry, just refilling and I wanted to count how many I did that time because I didn't put enough in before. Um, so they're asking us to mark our videos child intended or not because the child intended videos won't have data taken from them um, because it would be assumed that that intended that video was intended for a child so a child would be watching it so you won't get personalized ads on that anymore which basically means that um you'll just get general ads on those videos and apparently um the money made from that kind of target is different to personalized ads so personalized ads um there's a lot more money in it for monetized channels obviously if they're taking that off then you're going to be paid a little bit less for massive channels i think that's maybe a big deal especially things that are intended for kids that's going to be a big deal um, but for those that might have a few videos that are intended for kids it's not going to be as big a deal so yeah it's sort of i don't know it's 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 all a big interpretation thing that people just you know get on and put their two bobs in and gets people confused and starting to come alive already. Hello Sean. Yeah they're saying that um, oh also that's what happens so when you mark your video child intended you lose uh, comments you lose the comment section and you also lose the community uh, like you use it lose the interaction with the community so you're losing 
uh, what people have to say and yeah basically if your whole channel if you mark your whole channel as child intended videos then you don't get the community tab you can't do live videos and all that kind of thing and I guess the coloring community and all that were worried because our content is not intended for children but it's child attractive so children are attracted to color and coloring and it's a child's activity I guess that's what the biggest uh, issue is but it may be a child activity but we're not intending the videos to be for children so there's a difference there especially when it comes to live streams uh, there's mature and adult content we talk about you know all sorts of things we don't talk about children's things we don't talk in a children's language um, I'm using products that aren't intended for children like you don't buy Copics for children <laughs> you know it, it's not it's not intended for children I guess if we were using Crayola and things like that and we're clearly advertising that kind of thing that may become a problem and those videos may need to be marked differently um, but yeah it's sort of I don't know I'm not worried I was a little bit at the start but now I've looked into it a little bit I'm like me some of my videos I'm going to go through and change I'm also going to change the headings on them and things like that crayons out exactly what what child will buy copics and also what like a lot of the products that we use like prismacolor and polychromos and all of those kind of pencils pia farben and holborn and all of that stuff is not their artist quality products that are used by artists so it's not you know products that we're using for kids you know, we're not going to do a video intending it to be for kids and use Copics or Polychromos pencils. You know, like you're going to use children's based products. And you're also going to use a language that is intended for children. We're not, you know, when I do a colour along, it's not intended as a, you know, like I'm not spelling it out like a child was watching. I'm talking to people as adults. <clears throat> the guy that I was watching, he was saying that if they are going to go for somebody they're likely to go for larger channels with money <laughs> you know like but I guess if you know you're like you know I've got a goal to have more than 5,000 subscribers so you know is that goal now you know I don't know I just look at some of the bigger art community channels and I do think that it would be kind of scary for them especially those that do like craft reviews and toy reviews and kids product reviews and things like that like even though they're not intended for kids are they going to be saying yes they are just because they're attractive and because they involve children's activities As I said, the laws have been around for ages, so nothing's changed. It's just that YouTube 
have been forced to change they've been told they have to change some of their the way they do things and that in then is in turn making people realize that oh hang on there's something going on here giving him some more abs So yeah, if push comes to shove, we just make um just you know demonetize stuff and just do live streams and things like that and uh not worry about the money side of it you know i don't make any money off youtube anyway so i don't think it really makes a difference because obviously if uh they're not taking data or they're not playing ads then it doesn't apply to you Yes, video games do attract kids, but they're not made for children. <laughs> well, some of them are, obviously, mm -hmm. but obviously not all of them are. Not all of them are. I just think it's funny that uh, that yeah we have these things happen something happened a few years ago too and everyone sort of freaked out and it didn't really I don't remember what it was but it's just funny YouTube had something else happen I think they might have been sued for something else I don't know don't do I don't do But go watch that guy in that video I just posted because he's pretty cool and I mean you know he's not giving legal advice or anything but he was just saying that if you look at the legal terms of it uh, he doesn't think that they'd really have a case against people actual content 
what do you call them? Channel owners. He's saying that it'd be for. Yeah. I mean, they could obviously sue you, but um, whether they'd actually win or not is another story. But anyone can sue you for anything. But whether they have a case or whether they'd win that. Here's another story. Uh, also, the it does say that the fines are up to the $42,000. It doesn't say that all the fines will be $42,000, which is really funny. I find that everybody's just concentrated on this huge amount but it actually says up to that amount um, it doesn't actually say and it depends on the severity and things like that as well they're more likely to take the video down than they are to sue you or fine you <laughs> that was another thing that I found funny understand why YouTube like don't just say just stop like you know Facebook you have to be 13 um, obviously there are people out there that aren't and they're on those sort of things but that's not up to you know YouTube to police that's up to parents and things like that to police you know we just but yeah why don't they just say okay you can't watch YouTube videos unless you have an account and you have to be 13 years and over to have an account like seriously is it that hard to do I mean they already have it that you can't comment and you can't do things like add things to playlists and all that sort of thing if you aren't a member or don't have an account but you know why don't they just change it so that you just you just can't watch any videos unless you have an account I don't understand why they're not putting those kind of things in place. It's obviously not going to hurt them. Yeah, that's right, because now anyone can still watch, they just don't have to have an account. Change it. Change it. Make it better for people. Speak, 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 speak. <laughs> I think it's time for me to go and have a quick break and play a flip through and uh, we'll do a digital copy of this awesome book. A, a giveaway. We will, we will, we will. Finish off my dragon. Get him all pretty. I love Kofi's. These are smelly today, though. I, some days I'm I'm really sensitive to smell anyway, but most of the time I can't smell them. But today, perhaps it's the hay fever. I don't know. They're kind of getting to me today. 
couple of the colors are anyway. It's time to open a window. Some air in. <laughs> wings to have some pink through them. It's kind of a ready pink, isn't it? It's called, actually I think it's called coral, this one. Yep. We are doing this book here. We do have to be very careful of what we tell our babies, that's for sure. All right, I'm going to pop this one on again. Let's have a look.
Alrighty. So, how's that? <laughs> I just, while I was uh, playing that, I just, yep, that happened. I just spilt ink all over me. Because, <laughs> you know, I like to have fun. Just spill ink all over me. <laughs> so, who wants to do a giveaway? <laughs> Um, thanks Mia it is he's starting to get there look he's not perfect yet but I'm, you know I don't think any of my stuff's perfect so yeah <laughs> we'll get there no giveaway oh okay Mia doesn't want to be in it <laughs> You don't get anything then. <laughs> oh, Nani. She's having a sook out there. Such a good girl. You can't afford to do one, but you can, yeah, sure, you can enter one. Okay, well, that's good. I'm glad that's the case. <laughs> I'd like you to be able to enter. That would be good. That would be good. <laughs> would be good. Let's do the video um, for the giveaway and I uh, will do that. Night, May. Bye. Ah, ha, ha, secret. You didn't know. That's why you've got to come and join, Sean. Pick one, one number between 1 and 100. Only one person per... One number per person. <laughs> the first person to call that number owns it. No chatting during number calling. Until the winning number is drawn. No numbers before the words go, go, go. Or after the words stop, stop, stop will be counted. Oh, that's cool. Not yet, Sarah. Make sure you're on, um... Uh, top live chat not top chat <laughs> the number closest to the generated number will uh, win without going over it uh, make sure you're on live chat so click on that little box at the top there click on that little arrow make sure you select live chat any giveaway or promotion is in no way sponsored endorsed or administered by or associated with YouTube Facebook Instagram or Nathaniel Wake somebody wants to come and say hello What's wrong? Oh. <laughs> um, Nani is, is uh, crying out there. What's she crying about? She just doesn't want me to come in here. Oh, maybe she should come in and say hello. No top chat partying. I've already done the flip through. I can do it again later on. Uh, Sean? <laughs> I've already done it. I did it at the start. But we can do it again at the end, so... You know, I think this is part of his leg. Actually, no, that could be bush in the background there, couldn't it? Now, who knows? <sighs> who knows? I think it's actually part of his leg. 
down in here so I might have to do that darker do it darker all right are we ready are we ready are we ready I was just dreaming I forgot we were doing a giveaway it's all good <laughs> it's all good let's do it let's do it let's do it I can play it again no worries Abby you don't have to it's up to you um, I think the random thing is pretty random like it's just pure luck if you do win it again <laughs> let's do it go peoples go 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 sometimes this part of the video is usually the funnest because you guys crack me up <laughs> I'm just gonna make it his leg in oops not 68 69 is your number good on you 69 is a good number <laughs> we... yes abby just do it come on oh we got a few multiples today multiples oh check your numbers oh i'm happy for you to retract your messages <laughs> I don't know. I haven't got the timer on, so there's still time. I'll put it up now. I'll put my timer on. So you still got a minute, because um, I know that usually the the video is behind a bit, but you've still got time. There's still time. That reminds me of the um, Incredibles movie. Incredibles? Yeah. You know, the wedding at the start. Oh, really? I'm running out of colours all over the place today. Let's just swap colours. That's just not working. <laughs> Throw it away. Throw it away. It's a little bit brighter, but that's okay. Ooh, that's my posty. It's going past. It's going past. Making his rounds. Gotta be saying that about Santa soon. Good job, guys. Let's do our draw. Let me just get my, you know, new Google search thing up here. Random.org. Rabbit. Mm. Helps if I could spell. We'll do random.org. Everybody, here we go. The winner is number 93. 93. Nine three. Nine three. Closest without going over. Who was it? I'm looking. 
Looks like it's rain. Is that right? Can I have some admins just chip in there a little bit? Which was number 88. Is that the highest number on the board? Except for Helen who missed it. Helen, you missed it. You missed it. Rain. Rain chains. Rain chains. I don't know who you are. But hello and congratulations. Need to contact me. <laughs> Because you're the closest. Hi, Christina. Congratulations, Rain Chains. I don't know who what your name is, but here is my email address. Please email me. Oh, Helen, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, and you're so welcome. Nice work. Hi, Leslie. Welcome. Welcome to the craziness today of craziness. Here we are. We are, um, we are totally crazy. Isn't that a movie, The Crazies? I watched The Meg again this weekend on uh, Friday night. Mm, Jason Statham, so good. Just so nice. We need more of that in the world. <laughs> You really do. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing now. I'm just sort of putting colours together and seeing how they look. These are looking quite cool. I'm quite liking it. I'm running out of colour again, but I'm quite liking it. It's quite good. You know, I encourage everybody to have a play with these. If you have Copics, go crazy. Just be careful, some colours can cause brown. But, I reckon you'll be quite surprised in what you can create. Do yourself a chart on Copic paper. I just uh, got that everywhere then. And, um, I don't know, do like a whole heap of boxes with one colour in it. Gross. Damn, I got that on my top. <laughs> Just refilling them all over the place here. So, you know, like, um, here we go. We'll just pretend. We have a piece of paper with a whole heap of little boxes on it. Let's draw a couple. I'm not great at drawing squares, but, you know, we'll just pretend. <laughs> I am. <laughs> And have some colour listed, you know, on the sides here. And do, like, the O1 plus Y11. Oh, that looks really cool. That makes orange. I like that. And then do uh, V01 with, I don't know, let's go Y02 this time. It's a little bit brighter. Let's see if that makes a difference in colour. Ooh, interesting. All right, let's do Y02 with some BG53. Now that makes a really cool colour. Do it. Trust me. It will make things so much clearer to you with markers.
you know what you might mix some colors and go ew that's disgusting and I'll give you a hint stick with complementary colors so stick with purple and yellow together and blue and orange together and things like that and see what happens first I'm sure you will find a lot of interesting things occur <laughs> a lot of interesting things occur hi Kayla hi Brittany hi guys welcome come in come in come in we're just playing with color at the moment I'm talking about playing with color and um for some reason I had a little bit of ink smudging there so it looks pretty dirty looking in some of those areas but you know you get that We need some texture lines. See, I think I'm going to add some browns and uh, greens in the background and some grey. We need to do something down here because this ain't right. Just below the belly. He is looking pretty cool, isn't he? I think I need to add more yellow, though. I think this part here, I think we need to just extend this up into that wing. Make it look a little bit more orange. Yeah, I like that better. Have we got enough contrast? Is it like, have we got, we've got our purple crystals, we've got some green, we've got some light green, we've got a little bit of pink and orange in there. I think it's making a little bit of sense. And you know what? I think if we did some yellow in the background and maybe even like some peach, say, say, um, I don't know, some YR. I think that we get some really nice color. Linda, what's this I hear about koala bear extinct? What? <laughs> okay, first of all, it's a koala. Koala. K-O-A-L-A. -A. Koala. There's no bear. It's not a bear. It's just a koala. And yes, in some places they have become very rare. In some other places they are extremely um, pestful. Um, with all these fires though, uh, going through places where they're, they're almost extinct already, it does make it really hard. We have, they have got some programs where they migrate them to safer areas. Um, but yes, well, what, what, what happens with, with wild animals? You, you take away their habitats and they die. Um, so... We need to be more careful. There's not much one person can do though, which is sad. Except help them when they're in need. It's a koala. Yes, they do, Shelley. <laughs> Koalas and wombats here in Australia are very noisy. Also, possums can be quite loud too uh, if they're mating or if they're trying to scare others out of their territory uh, it's quite funny all right now do I have a refill for this one I do and I'm going to use a fair bit of it so I want to make sure I have it in the refill here as well 
I might just fill it because it feels pretty light already. So it's K-O-A-L-A-S, koalas or koala. My stepsister's name is Carla and we call her Carla the koala and her sister's name is Claire so we call her Claire Bear. <laughs> Carla Koala and Claire Bear. You know, when I'm doing this color sky, I like to put some yellow in it as well. Oh, also, I printed this one. I actually uh, took the image cropped around the outside and put a border on it because it's a little bit easier when I'm scanning up my images and also when I'm coloring to... Um, you know what, this is really interesting. There should be a tree here. Should I draw it in? It's not making sense to me. I need to see it. That one's fine, but this one, it needs at least to have a mark there. And look at this one here. <laughs> okay, that one is a little harder. Let's just draw it in here. Yeah, it doesn't have to be neat, it's a tree, okay? Yeah, I'm holding the marker in my mouth, so. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense to my brain. It's got to make sense to the brain or it won't work to me. See, this one's okay. They've done it right. This one's good. This one goes off out here. That's fine. But, you know, when it doesn't make sense to your own brain, you, go, you can't figure it out. You need to make sure it does. <laughs> Otherwise, you can't colour it. I'm using Nina today, too, by the way, if anyone wanted to know. Nina. Nina. What's happening, Pam? What? Who's doing numbers? What is going on? <laughs> Koalas aren't bears. Stop it. <laughs> this is a Copic refill. This is a various ink refill. Someone was asking. I did say that I like to put a bit of yellow in when I do orange, so I'm just going to do a bit of a yellow patch here. You joined the late number party, you are a late bloomer, yeah? Solar white, classic crest, super smooth, 80 pound, <laughs> which I can't buy anymore and I can't even find it on the US website anymore. It's so frustrating. Nina, stop it. Just make your paper available. 
I do know that the Paper Temptress, Paper Temptress, I think her name is online, she usually stocks it. Um, there's a place that, uh, what's her name? Sandy Elmock always, always, um, I think she has like affiliates with this girl who sells it on her website too in America, but not here in Australia. Don't even bother. Find something else. Use Express It blending card. That will do you. Express It. You just can't use pencils on Express It that well. It doesn't really work too good. I'm keeping it like that and I'm just going to let it dry because it's a little bit uneven at the moment. We'll look at the sky again in a moment, but we're going to use some green. <laughs> you can buy Nina in packs. Uh, of 50 and things like that but I always like to buy a ream because I want to make sure it hasn't been opened like it hasn't been tampered with or played with I brought a couple of packs of 50 off some websites and um, I found that like one lot had glue or something on every single page there was like a spot on the page that I would always come up especially when using markers it's really frustrating um, so yeah, I wanted to buy a ream of it because this this is running out. Really bad running out. Not just running out, it's run out. Well, that's frustrating. Isn't it? Just running out. Let's just go and put in some darker green then. Just going to do some circles. We'll just make it look like scribbly little trees. with Nina oh Nina's just rude come on <laughs> I like Nina Nina's awesome I like Nina because it, it works with a lot of mediums um, you know it's not it's not it's not that great with water mediums but you can get away with it like you know, if you're really careful, you can get away with it. And it's good for pencil. It's good with everything. I do find that with pencil, though, everything's a little bit more pastel-like. Like, like it doesn't uh, bring out really bright, vibrant colours all that well. Um, there's other papers that, you know, I'd prefer maybe better. Um, like, this is Strathmore Bristol paper. This is cool for pencil. I like Bristol um but yeah I need more of that ah, apple green come back to me my love we need more of you this time I'm using a cotton pad to pull the thing out because I had it all over me before much I know someone that uses Bristol board now I'm not sure what Bristol board is in, in, in maybe some of you lovely Americans can tell me what Bristol board is I thought it was like Strathmore Bristol paper maybe vellum surface I don't know I overfilled that then and leaked everywhere. <laughs> but I know people who use Bristol board for markers. I quite like Nina. I'm doing, uh, a, I quite like Express It Blending Card. I'm doing a our 30 day color 
challenge color blending challenge thing on on express it Let's go with yellow and blue green for these leaves down here. some texture let's put some texture in here Oops, spots see got curlies on the other one let's add some spots in this one I like Nina because the colors kind of you know you I can be a little bit rough and um, I find that the colors kind of bleed in and they smooth out so this is starting to dry now there's a couple of areas where you know, I might need to go over and re-smooth, but I like the way it, it, it just sort of even self-evens. <laughs> Is that what you call it? It does. It just self, I don't know, flattens. The color just sort of bleeds a little bit, goes a bit fuzzy, um, blends in nicely. It's a little bit rougher on your marker tips because it's not completely smooth. It's got a little bit of a texture because otherwise I couldn't use pencil on it. But I just like the way it works. Sometimes I find with other marker papers that markers sort of go like spotty and strange looking. Um, this paper doesn't seem to do that. It doesn't desaturate the colour that much that it makes it look strange. It kind of holds it in closer to the surface of the paper and I don't know it's, it, it spreads out between the paper layers <laughs> but I like it it's good here we go just added some dots in there that looks good Hey, we might actually get one finished. Woohoo, I like finishing. We almost finished on Friday. So we've got birthday tradition. Everybody who has a birthday, they get it's their decision on what is for dinner that night. Like they get to choose. So I wonder what I'm gonna be having for dinner tonight. I wonder what Faith will choose. I'm going to guess she's going to say Kentucky Fried Chicken because she's a bit of a freak that way. <laughs> and she loves it. <laughs> Sorry, Faith. Um, but who knows? She might say something completely different like, I don't know, usually she's a McDonald's or a KFC girl. Usually. Maybe she'll surprise me. What do you think, Alyssa? Are you there? I think she'll surprise us. This has turned out nothing like I thought it was going to, by the way. This is not what I envisioned when I started, but I'm quite happy with it, even so. I'm not mad at it. 
I believe the term is. <laughs> I believe it's I'm not mad at it. Is that correct? I think I need a little bit of yellow in the front here. Hmm, cute. smooth out this background shall we Put some rockiness in here. Rocky W7. Do you, while I'm finishing off this, do you want me to show you guys your salvos? It only goes for a minute. Let's do that. I'll still be here chatting, so uh, you'll uh, probably still hear me. doing that it keeps playing that thing because I left it on there so every time I come out of it <laughs> it comes up just adding in some shadows here definitely more down the bottom here because I've got that sun there in the background this is why I like a border because I know how far down I need to go to make it look right going to put a bit of an overshadow at the top here. This big creature standing on it. There you go, Sean. Did you like it? Is that good? Don't do that. There it is. Thought I'd lost it. These W colors, W warm grays, 
in Copics have like especially the lighter like W3 has like pink undertones so when you lay it down and bleed out some of this darker color it kind of has this pink look to it and that's why I've picked this one because I've got pink through here and I think I need to do like red brown trees maybe I'm going to try and keep that color in There's lots of Save the Koala foundations out there um, if you want to help save the koalas because they are very cute. Good way, good way to help save them though would be to stop building houses. <laughs> stop knocking down trees. <laughs> Come on, peoples. Stop selling land to building developers. Keep Australia beautiful. But do you know how many parts of Australia, actually parts of the world that, you know, are unpopulatable. We can't live there because they're too harsh environment. It's the same for animals. They need to live somewhere. How is that looking? Does that look like a rock? I think that's looking like a rock. red brown trees but I think I might stick with pink browns Do you know what I use these colors for trees all the time let's put some texture in and make them look like trees all right let's make uh, one side darker because the sun's there, so we'll make this side darker. Just like that. And then we want to do the opposite on this side because the sun's on this side this time. Oh, hello. I should say goodbye. Goodbye, 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 good friends. Yeah, out of all of the kids' videos, why does those songs stick in my head? I mean, you know, we just got a letter. We just got a letter. That sort of sticks in my head too. Oh no, I need to stop doing children's rhymes. Let's let's just make them more adult. We just got a letter. Don't care who it's from. Go away. There we go. <laughs> I'll have to be careful. I can't sing my songs. <laughs> I do, I do, Mia, I do. I, I need them. I would love to have them.
just gradually filling in the side of the tree. is done. Squeak, squeak, squeak. I'm living on the edge. Sorry, I always say that when my markers are like running out because it's like I'm living like pushing them to the limits because I don't want to waste your time in refilling them and you know <laughs> I like to try and keep a rough texture on the tree so I use like jaggedy motions too just to like you know get these sort of like rough looking sections um, Bye guys, bye. I'm sorry, I'm not really reading chat, so uh, mods are mods are keeping track of that. Yeah, right. Any questions, please just you know. I have five sets of twelve and a pack of five. Oh my gosh. Hi Lulu. Um, I'd like to get some at some stage. Do you know that's probably the only thing that I haven't got. Uh, the only other alcohol markers I have are the chameleon pens which I can't use as we had a bit of a demonstration of those <laughs> can't use them uh, for very long I get sore hands because I'm swapping and changing all the time but um, I really would like to get another lot of alcohol markers just to see the differences between Copics and those I have I, <laughs> one day one day I just love my Copic so much and they don't smell and I just don't want to get others. <clears throat> I just don't. Because then when I go to spend them, buy them for myself, I'd be like, oh no, but I can get a refill for this colour marker instead. You know, um, I kind of want to make this these a little bit transparent so what I'm going to do is can you see what I'm doing yeah did you see that how clever was that come on watch you ready oh look at that let's fill it in a little bit Look, look, are you watching? It's really clever. So easy to do. We just made his rings transparent. You gotta catch these little tricks. 
all right <laughs> i know how quick was it too just like happened like that it appeared just like that we now have transparent wings Ta -da! Kiritaki. Now, I do have some Kiritaki pen, uh, markers that I've used for uh, brush lettering. I do quite like them. These ones, the these these jewel brush ones. Did we we just did a stream, didn't we, with these? Didn't I do one with those? Uh, oh, actually, no, um, Lulu. I think I might have. I've done a. I did a Patreon one. I'm sorry, I apologize. It was Patreon one. Now, we need some white. And then we're done. No, look at this mess. No, white pencil, where are you? This is why I like Nina. Because we can go over it with pencil. And add things to it. Just lightening up some areas. Just, you know, bringing him to life. Giving him some shape. Smoothing things out a little bit in some areas. Most are pretty smooth because, as I said, the Nina seems to just, I don't know, flatten out. I don't have the alcohol ones. I want them, but <laughs> here we go. Because these are crystals, I want to add some. I want to add some things that aren't even working. I really do need to throw that one away. It ends up back in there though. Just a couple of little like sparkles on the very edges of these because the sun's kind of reflecting off him now. I want them to sort of show. I know I have a habit of making things look pretty too. <laughs> look at those pretty little crystals. They're shining, shining bright like a diamond. You're beautiful, diamonds in the sky. <laughs> You gotta make it pretty. Ah, uh, I see, Lulu. Like, like you mean, like as in, like Laura does it? Cause Laura's awesome at that. <laughs> I actually haven't used them like that, so maybe I should do an image like that. Uh, Lulu just messaged me <laughs> and I could read part of it. The trick with white pen, everyone keeps telling me they don't know where to put the white pen, is just make it like a part of a contrast. So where there's dark, put a little bit in the light. So you're making your lights a little bit lighter. Um, <clears throat> you know... You're making your darks darker by doing that too. It's 
it's not important where the light or the shadow is it's just like makes it interesting to look at I think I should just sparkle off this one down here <laughs> maybe this one here too Don't think about it too much. Just put it in. If you're not sure, use um, perhaps not on this paper, <laughs> but you could use gouache and uh, you can wipe it off if it's not right because it's water based. It'll just wipe off. Mm. But um, maybe not on Nina because the water doesn't like Nina. Nina doesn't like water, I should say. Nina's mean sometimes. Aren't you, Nina? Look, he was looking like a bit of an ugly duckling at the start, but um, we really worked on him hard and we gave him a really nice makeover and now he's beautiful. <laughs> I'm full of shit, come on. Ah. <laughs> uh, I don't know, can you sell diamond paintings? Because technically they're not yours. I don't know how that works. Unless you're talking about like selling them not done. Oh, those wings came out awesome, didn't they? Look at that. Look at that. They look amazing. He looks awesome. I'm very impressed with this one. He didn't come out anything like I was expecting him to. Um, and, oh, do you want to see the image that I actually took the colours from? Do you want to see? Because you'll be shocked. It looks a little bit different. Never did I dream it would look so awesome. <laughs> oh, you were worried. I know. He was a bit of an ugly duckling, wasn't he? He really did grow. Aren't they cool? So this is the one that I did in Linda Ravenscroft's book. The only difference was that this has got a little bit of red and orange in it, which I didn't actually add um, into this one. I left it out and I added some browns instead. But they're the same colours. How cool is that? Yeah, that was one of my favourites, Loretta. I, I I really loved doing that one. Yeah, Hubby was talking to me this morning. I'm going, maybe I could do this and I could do that and maybe we should do this because Nathaniel Wake did his digital um, and he's got a brown dragon and I was like, no, we can do better than that. We can do better than that. So that we did. And I love, I love how it comes out this, like, you, you, you're looking at it. And pe I, I'm sure people come in, look at my stream and go, oh, my God, what is she doing? And just leave. Because, they you know, they're too impatient. They don't wait to see what it looks like. And then he comes out like this. And then they're like, wow, how did you do that? And I'm like, well, watch the stream. Because <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just telling stories now. I better go. I better go and interact with my daughter. And uh, what I'll do is I'll post up the colours for the Friday image. I'll just check with Alicia what we've what she's done on the list. Uh, I'll go through and make sure it's all good. And um, this one shouldn't take very long either because I've got all the colours here and I've used them before. So um, I should be able to do a pretty quick colour list.
So lovely patrons, I'll post that up soon as soon as I possibly can. And I've just got a few more um, things to do for the 30 day colour blending challenge. Um, I've got to do the pencil versions. I've done all the Copic versions so I've got to do all the pencils and that will be up for patrons soon. Also I've got a Christmas card thing uh, that Mariella Budic, a little mousy, that's got to come out soon. Don't worry, i got some close recording to do but it'll be soon, okay? It will be soon. I would like to thank everybody who came today and congratulations to the winner of the giveaway. A big thank you to Nathaniel Wake for allowing me to do that as well. Make sure that you email um, me uh, your details so I can get in contact with you. And um, thanks to my mods because you're all awesome. You really are and I love you all. <laughs> all right i'm going i'm going it's time for me to leave bye thank you thank you guys see you soon see you on friday uh for those that are, it's thanksgiving for if you're not there i completely understand i will still be streaming though uh so if you do want to come along um, you can still do that And I'll be doing a Jennifer Zimmerman's beautiful new image coming very, very shortly. Look out for it. It's coming. You'll see it. <laughs> I've got to do my daughter's image too. The, the, um, actually, you know what? You know what? We could probably do it during December because we could make it Christmassy themed. Because, you know, Sugar Plum Princess, uh, Nutcracker, all those things are kind of Christmassy. So maybe we might do that. Oh, you know what, as I said, all these big plans and then stuff comes up. But I hope you enjoyed this one, guys, and uh, I will see you later. Bye!